For today's video, I don't even know what this video is going to be in, this is just going to be like another vlog, but um, I'm kind of going to take you guys along my day today um, because I don't have work today since I have to take my car to the repair shop, so that's really fun. So I need to go take my car to the Mazda dealership um, because my check engine light came on and I just don't think that's like safe to be driving with a check engine light and I think there's definitely other things that need to be fixed about it. So I have to go do that at 11.45. I woke up at like 8 this morning and then I made myself breakfast, um, did a little bit of work. I was helping one of my friends with something for like her internship because I have Canva Premium and so I said she could use my account so that's what I was doing this morning. Um, and then just some stuff um, with Lexi, we've been like texting back and forth about the um, podcast right now because um, we're going to be like recording something tonight but yeah I just thought it'd be fun to kind of like take you along my day. Um, oh I have like none of my hair clips, that's great my hair clip so i'm gonna do my makeup i really wanted to curl my hair super badly but i don't have time to do that right now because i was spending my time doing other things so i'm gonna just do my makeup now and then pull my hair back and then i need to like rush to the um dealership so yeah i really do want to curl my hair with like my new uh con air like curling kit and stuff but i just don't have time to do that right now so i'm gonna do my makeup though because i don't really ever do my makeup when i go to work i just i don't know when i wipe all my makeup off it definitely damages my skin and stuff especially when i do like more of like a glam kind of look i don't even know if i would consider my makeup to be glam but i kind of want to do like my eyeliner and stuff i usually only ever do this when i'm going out but i don't know Okay, I just need to ask you guys, is anybody else, I feel like I talked about this in my last vlog, well, I talked about, I think I have sinitis or something right now, um, like a really bad sinus infection, and that's why my face is like really puffy, um, especially like under my eyes, and it's, um, it's like swollen and like tender when I touch it. And I looked up the side effects, so I don't know, I don't think it's just like just my allergies, but I think I may have had like a cold or something. I can still kind of like hear it in my nose and like I'll be like in the middle of a conversation and then my nose will just get like stopped up and then I feel like I have to like either blow my nose or like suck in it's really gross but I don't know if anybody else is having a problem please let me know also if anybody else is having like any skin issues please let me know if there's any recommendations you have because I think it's the season change or something but my skin has just been so dry and like all over the place I don't even know it's just the texture looks terrible I don't know what to do about it I went back to using um I went back to using this stuff the CeraVe stuff instead of this and then I also think something was happening with my skin I was getting like lots of little bumps I think it was because I was using my like jade roller way too hard on my face I was like scraping it so I decided to only use it in the shower when I like get my face like lubricated and stuff because it was like pulling my skin so hard it was just damaging it um so yeah but if anyone has any like products i should use or something like i don't know i keep seeing other youtubers do the like jelly look or something where they're like if your face isn't sopping wet or completely glossy looking um before you go to bed you're doing it wrong and i'm like well i don't know what product to to like put on my face because I don't want to clog my pores or you know create like some reverse effect where it causes a ton of acne so I don't know if anyone has any like recommendations I honestly am just like very confused I don't know what to do about my skin if anybody has like done Accutane I don't know if it's something where like my skin is just trying to like bounce back to the original like skin um, texture that it was before I was on Accutane but I don't know so I'm really excited because tomorrow 
Ella's mom is coming, so she's bringing all the stuff that I said, I think I talked about in the last video, like she's bringing a bunch of books up um, and just like a ton of new furniture and stuff. Well, not a bunch of furniture, but like she's bringing, um, it's not new, it's stuff that Ella had. So she's bringing up like some furniture Ella had, I think like a chair and then like one of her dressers and then, I don't really know, I just like some other things and then a bunch of books. So I'm really excited because we're gonna be able to fill up the bookshelf now. And then also there's a ton of books I'll ask her mom to bring to like, let me read them because I've never been like the biggest reader. I did go through a reading phase when I was senior in high school. I don't really know why. I just got like really obsessed with reading and I started like posting all the books I was reading on my Finsta and I just became obsessed. I really like stuff that's like a thriller, um, crime mystery, those types of books, like action stuff, um, things that really engage me. So she's gonna have some books coming up. I'm really excited because I wanna start reading more. I feel like that's just really good for my mental health. It helps me get to bed earlier because I just sit in bed and like start reading, helps relax my mind. So I really wanna start reading more and I think um, I'll start showing you guys and stuff the books I have. I don't know if any of you guys enjoy reading, but my friend Ella loves reading so much. She actually just started like a blog. Um, she read like, 10 books within like a week or something she told me when she was on vacation like this girl reads like crazy and so i don't know i just feel very inspired by her reading and um i want to start getting into it more so um once she's done her blog she's not finished or anything yet cause she's still working on it but um once she's finished um, with the blog, I will like link that and stuff in my videos if you guys want to go and like read it because she's also been going around DC to different coffee shops and like taking pictures of the coffee shops and like writing about them and recommending them and then recommending like books and stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy reading too. If not, hopefully like Ella can inspire you to read more and hopefully if I start reading more, I'll inspire you guys. But I would love to um, like start reading her blog once she gets it all up and posted and like let you guys know about it because that just sounds really exciting to me okay i'm definitely running late but here's my outfit makeup i'm just wearing this sweater from revolve it's so cute and so comfortable oh my goodness it's just such a classic look and then i have these jeans on from zara so yeah it's the look though but gotta rush <laughs> I just got back from dropping my car off but I did say that I wanted to use my new hair rollers or at least like try them out this isn't sponsored or anything I just I talked about this in my podcast um and I said I saw a girl who did her hair like this and I've only done them a couple times like that but I said it just like I don't know doing my hair hello plug in okay call him plug them in um I just think that doing little things like this, which I talk about in my podcast, which I'm just gonna plug again, it's down below, you should listen to it. It's with me and my friend Lexi. Um, but yeah, so we talked about like things that we do that help us mentally and physically feel better. And this is just one of the many things we talked about. So I got these, it's the Conair Curlers. I can honestly link them down below, but they're I think like 20 or $25 for them. And I just got the ones in blue. The ones in pink are cheaper, they're like 19. I don't know why I didn't just get the pink ones. I think I didn't even see that before I like added them to my cart and paid for them. But yeah, I'm not the best at doing my hair, but I thought that I would kind of like, I don't know, we can like, chat while I do this. I don't even know what to talk about. Um, but yeah, it just helps me feel like a little bit more motivated and like productive and stuff. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, my hair is so long. It's crazy. I feel like people that I haven't seen in a long time, they see me and they're like, what the fuck? Like your hair is so long. Cause I don't know if you guys remember, but in my older vlogs, I used to have like way shorter hair and my hair also wasn't like black. So, um, but yeah, so like I'm So this is what it looks like done, like George Washington or something. Um, so yeah, I know I look kind of insane, but I put them all in 15 minutes. That's what the girl said to do. So we will see what they look like when they're done.
Okay, I just did a bunch of random like busy work and stuff because um, I didn't have work. Oh, my car. Oh my gosh, so annoying. They like sent me a message or something and they were like, yeah, the total price for it is going to be $1,400. And I was like, no. But luckily, Ryan knows like a bunch of stuff about cars. So he was like, you don't need to get that done. You don't need to get this done. Like we can go do that cheaper. So I told him a bunch of things that I don't need them to do because they're obviously like charge me more money than um needed so i think i'm gonna just end up doing like a couple of the repairs which hopefully won't be as expensive way too much salt. So this is what Ryan and I are making for dinner. So I just chopped up carrots like this, and then I'm gonna put them in this mixing bowl. So I'll show you what I end up doing with that. But these are going in the oven, so they're gonna go on a tray. And for the carrots, I just put olive oil in it. Oh gosh, that was probably a lot. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just put a little bit of garlic powder, Urgh, if I can get it open. Just kind of like season it with garlic powder. And then I'm gonna use some salt. And that's literally all you need. Okay, I definitely put way too much oil, but um, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> and then I just go and like spread them on this. Do -do -do, just like that. Can we broil them? Um, I think so. <clears throat> okay, so then we're gonna broil, put it on high, and we gotta wait for that. And so then for the fish, this is the sauce that I always make, um, but we're kind of using some different ingredients, I guess, because um, Ryan and I have like different stuff. So I always use lemon, but I'm going to use lime juice because that's what they have. I just like the kind of like tangy flavor it adds. So I'm just going to use a little bit of lime juice, some garlic. You can cut up fresh garlic, but this stuff is just 10 times easier. So add a little bit of pepper in there. And this has literally been like my favorite, favorite recipe ever since living alone. It's just so easy to do. And then I usually like smoked paprika, but um, they just have, Ryan and his roommate just have regular paprika, but it's fine. Smoked paprika literally smells like barbecue sauce, so it smells so good. And then let's see, I started adding teriyaki sauce. I can't even pronounce this Worcestershire sauce. I don't know. My dad used to cook with it all the time and he would like cook with it um, with steak. And so I started using teriyaki sauce, but this stuff kind of has a similar scent and taste. So, and then I'm going to add some wine, white wine and without white wine. And it tastes so much better with white wine. It's delicious. And then I'm just going to mix it all up. And then once the fish is finished, defrosting i'm just gonna let it like soak in there next step we have cheese roll <laughs> well as we can see i've done a phenomenal job here so this is ready to be served <laughs> oh my god it's fine <laughs> the fish survived it's the uh 
the sauce, it kind of, we're just not going to talk about that, honestly, I don't even want to talk about that. Alright, so, <laughs> this looks a little funny, but Ryan and I, we like, made this sauce, it was like, Worcestershire sauce, mayonnaise, and then barbecue sauce. Um, and we put it on top because I cooked the fish too long, so it's kind of dry. And then the garlic bread, and then the carrots are still in the oven baking. But yeah, so that's kind of what it looks like. And we are watching Narcos right now because Narcos is such a show. Oh my gosh. It's definitely kind of fire right now. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. <laughs> You're crazy. Oh, you got it. cute together though i don't know why this is such a good movie highly recommend to anybody that likes those what would you would you say just like cheesy or like soapy chick flick chick flick rom-com early 2000s yeah but here's just an overview of some like stuff that we've changed about the apartment um nothing is like a hundred percent Elle and her mom got this really cute filing cabinet some like little succulents a new like plant pot um and then we got this little like tray thing we're still trying to like move stuff around to like see oh i'm like eating goldfish to see what looks best but it's kind of a work in progress but yeah and then she brought her chair but i don't know that's kind of everything right yeah i mean we had a bunch of kitchen stuff but that's all packed away looks good yeah i really like that okay perfect two sides in a relationship yeah. okay perfect and then, and then, yeah, I could just say something like, these are just um, our tips for how to have like a successful relationship with a good guy. So, and then we can say like, we only asked advice from guys that like we find to be like respectable, like upstanding men and stuff. Like really quick, one more time over, you're gonna say, hey everybody, it's Lexi Fraser. And then I'm gonna say, Elise Marin, and welcome to the Gold Journal podcast. And then you'll say. In today's episode, we are going to be addressing red flags um, in girls and ladies, as much as it's fun to talk about red flags, sound really good. Nothing too bad, so that's good. Like if the girl doesn't like to be with the guy's friends? Yeah, it's not like alone or anything, but like doesn't like hanging out with them, cannot like chill with them, um, kind of like that. And then also like hand in hand, like if the guy has... <laughs> joining me my roomie I have to I hate seeing my face reflected on this so I literally have to cover it up <laughs> like, I, I usually bring like a sweater or like a jacket. what no I don't really like looking at my face I either on here because I just look like so sweaty I and stuff so <laughs> <laughs> no I keep like staring at myself I was literally using my fingers as like you know like the gua sha things where you like you know those things where you like you like go like that like, I have my little jade roller, but I was literally using my fingers because my under eyes are so puffy and I'm, like, pulling at them while there's a guy working out down here. I literally just stare at myself and analyze it. I'm like, God, you're so ugly. No, so honestly, that's kind of a good tip, like, because I was, I was staring at myself also, and I feel like this is just, like, not good coloring, and I was feeling really self-conscious, so. I don't think anyone ever uses 
Yeah, I don't even know how to use these. Like, this is so, like, old school. <laughs> I know. These are, I mean, at least they're, like, I don't even know how to work the TVs on here. That's the thing. Oh, I'm, like, sweating. All right, so um, I just kind of wanted to like talk about something really quickly um, because I feel like in my vlogs, I just like share a lot of like, I guess like things like, that are like personal and stuff in my life, but um, I don't know. I just kind of want to just share this so that like, I don't know. I feel like really sad about this. If like anybody wants to like maybe say like a prayer or something. Um, but yeah, this is like just really sad. I found out like literally like an hour ago i'm like in my car right now um so i was just driving um but i found out that one of my friends um kaylee just passed away so i don't know it sounds like so strange to say um i don't i don't even know really like how to react i guess um i feel really devastated for my friend Vinny. i feel really like devastated for my friend rohan and for my friend chloe right now because like, like they were best like one of her best friends I just feel absolutely fucking devastated for them and I feel absolutely devastated for her family right now. So, um, I don't ever want to like throw religion on anybody or anything, but, and I don't ever want to like be sad and like, I just want like my channel to be something where people can come and like feel happy and stuff and like get away from like, like problems and stuff or just like come to like a positive channel. But I feel like I also do want to share my life and stuff. And I don't know, I would just ask if any of you guys, um, like pray and stuff maybe you could um maybe potentially like say a prayer prayer or something for her family or say a prayer for her um i don't know it just honestly just doesn't feel real so yeah i'm very sad about that um obviously i don't want everyone to be like oh my god elise i'm so sorry like no please don't do that like that's absolute opposite of what i want want um i just would like if um, you, you guys could like potentially say a prayer or something for her family and like for her or especially like her really close friends because I don't know I just like call my friend Vinny and like I think he's just like in shock and stuff but I just feel like so devastated for him and like for I don't know I feel just so sad I can't even believe Ugh, sorry um yeah all of our friends are definitely very upset and we're all thinking of her and her family and so yeah so I don't know so I just thought I would up to you guys but um yeah so I don't know make sure you guys um realize life is just very short and um to keep your friends and families clo close and tell them that you love them and stuff so yeah all right